Hey guys, I'm Mario and this is the MCN5 and you're watching the 1000 km update video review of this beautiful machine. This is the final video of the follow-up reviews of the MCM5 and I'm really sad that I have to return this wheel back to Ian so he can put it on the website. Obviously this isn't the best wheel, there's some really good stuff about it but there are some also some negatives. But if you're a last mile commuter like myself, you can't go wrong getting this wheel and I'll tell you why. But before that, check out this hoodie, it's very warm, very soft and... It has the speedy feet signs. It's October, so it's getting really cold here in the UK. So this hoodie is perfect if you want to stay warm. You can go on the website, have a look at the hoodie. But if you're living in sunny California or Australia, we also have t-shirts, so go to the website and, and have a look. Going back to the wheel, the foot plates are really good because you can just flick them down easily with your foot, which I really like. Because they're magnetic, I don't have to bend down, I can just flick them with my foot, which is brilliant if you're commuting and especially if you're in a rush. And they're also very grippy in the rain. The tire is brilliant for the city, I love how agile it is, but size does matter and if you go off-road with this wheel it's not it's not the best experience 14 inch just isn't enough if you want to go over bumps or rocks or just potholes also i found that the tire isn't brilliant in mud it sometimes struggles to to find a good grip and it just feels slippery but because i'm riding mostly on tarmac or on the pavement the wheel has been performing really well for that particular case and as a last mile commuter I haven't had any issues with it even like going through some some puddles no problem whatsoever so if you wonder how I've been riding the MCM5 I just made a montage of me just going to work and you'll see why for me portability and the trolley handle matter much more than the power and the range of the machine because I go up and down the stairs a lot and in terms of riding I only do a handful of miles a day Birthday. Hey, it's a pizza party. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, Mario. No, 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 that's for me. That's for them. <laughs> 
Det blev en pizza till morgonen, jag vet inte vad det är, men... Pizza morgonen! Nej! Nej, 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 nej! Jag trodde lunch skulle bli... Pizza breakfast? Eh... Okej... Du är ganska glad nu, igen! The headlight of the MCM5 is alright, I wish it was brighter, but it does get the job done. But if you want to ride faster in the night, you may need an additional light source, like a torch, because the beam just isn't wide enough or long enough for you to, to go fast. If you go at a reasonable speed, uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have any problems. But if you want to go flat out, you definitely need more light in front of you, especially if there are no street lights. The chassis of the MCM5 is holding on, it has a lot of scuffs and marks and scratches but apart from that, no problems. This wheel can definitely take a tumble or two but obviously I, don't, I can't speak what happens if you have a high speed crash and we also don't recommend to go too fast because you can just injure yourself. One other thing about the chassis is that if you want to jump over stuff as it is like, like now it's slippery so you can't grip it as as well as some other wheels because the tire isn't very big so the whole body of the machine is closer to the ground so this part here tends to hit a lot of stuff if there are any big rocks on in your way or you want to jump over stuff you will find that you hit that part of the wheel but because it's curved it's not that bad you kind of just go over it but it makes a sound and it's not the best sound, like you feel like, oh, oh, did I break the wheel? But actually, no, it's fine, just, you just get some scratches here. The USB port works fine, I don't, I don't really use it, but if you desperately need to charge your phone or, or something, then you have that option, or you want to put more LED lights. Uh, again, you have the USB to get some power from the battery. I like the trolley handle of the MCM5. Initially I was a bit worried because this is quite sharp here and I thought that might cause some injuries but actually I haven't had any problems with it and I also like the height of the trolley handle. It's, it's about right for my height and I've been using it pretty much daily for the past few months and I don't really have any complaints. At times it may have been a bit awkward when you push it all the way down and then you want to bring it back up but if you leave a slight gap, it's not an issue. But that's really nitpicking because in my daily use, I haven't had any problems with it. Also, I really like the lift sensor. It's been so helpful just being able to go up and down the stairs without having to turn off the machine. At the beginning, I struggled with the sensor, but when I figure out how to properly grip it and hold it, I, I haven't had any problems. Carrying the MCM5 has been smooth. The MCM5 is the most powerful 14 inch wheel at the moment because it has a 1500 watt motor which is really plenty for this machine and also the 800 watt hour battery is plenty for me as a last mile commuter without any worries I can just commute to work and then afterwards uh, zip around town and do some chores also, the stickers are still glued to the side of the machine and because you're pushing them with your legs all the time, that helps them stay in place. But I do think that was a bit of a poor choice of design by uh, Gotway.
if you commute to work or to school, the MCM5 will not replace your car. But if you're using public transport, this is a brilliant companion because it's a really light and portable machine. It still gives you enough power and range to be quite flexible when you're in the city. You may have noticed that I was wearing a beautiful blue helmet. Well, that's a Kali Zoka helmet, I think. So we just started selling them on the Speedy Fit store. Um, and I was, I think, one of the first people to actually get a helmet. And it's been actually, it's been really good because the helmet is very lightweight compared to the previous one I was using. Stay tuned for the review because I think that's the cheapest but still good full face helmet you can get at the moment. Thanks for watching and I hope this video has been helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below the like button and also subscribe to your channel if you want to see more reviews and, and fun content around unicycles and I'll see you guys in the next video.